Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make a paper airplane ring. This will be an easy circle airplane tutorial, so let's get right into the video. You're going to start off with just a regular sheet of paper like this, okay? This is just a regular sheet of printer paper. You're going to fold it in half like this, okay? So fold it in half just like that. And you want to make sure you try and get it as even as possible because the more even that you get the fold, the straighter that your fold will be. And basically the straighter that your lines will be and the better that the airplane is likely to fly. Now you can crease it and rip it apart or you can cut it. I'm just going to simply use a pair of scissors just to save some time. Usually I would just crease it and, uh, and sort of pull it apart. Um, but I'm just going to cut it with scissors, okay? So either way, you have to get that half of the sheet of paper. Now what you're going to do is turn it this way so that it's a little bit wider than it is tall. Now you're going to fold it about a third of the way down. So it, it doesn't have to be exact, but it's going to be roughly a third like that. So fold it a third of the way down. Give it a really, really nice solid crease like that, okay? Now you have like this part that's folded over here, this thicker part. You're going to fold this part right here that's already folded, fold it in half uh, upon itself. So I'm going to take this, fold it in half upon itself, just like that. Once again, try and get your line as nice and straight as you can. Does not have to be perfect, but the straighter that it is, the better that the airplane is likely to fly. Okay, just like that. And then now we have this thicker part once again. We're going to fold it in half one more time, and you're going to be left with just a small little folded lip on the top. Once again, doesn't have to be perfect, but just try and get it done um, as nicely as you can, okay? Just like that. The, the, the better that you get your lines, the better that your airplane is likely to fly, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to basically curl this into a ring. And to do that, you need the edge of a table. Um, I don't have a table handy right here, but I do, however, I'm in the bathroom right now in my basement bathroom. I do have the edge of this countertop. So I'm going to just put the camera here. I'm going to flip the screen so that I can see what you guys are seeing. And what you want to do is you want to get the part of the of the paper with this lip on it, that's the part that's going to be touching the table. So your smooth side is going to be facing up and you're going to just rub it like that along the edge of the table. It's going to give it a nice curved, curved motion to it. So as you can see, it's already starting to curve, okay? So just go like that. It doesn't need to be perfectly curved, but the more that you can do it now, the better that it's going to fly because you don't want to just bend it in a circle. You want it to be curved in a circle. So as you can see right here, we've pretty much curved it in a circle. I'm going to move the camera up so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to be doing now. So now we're going to take it and you want to essentially um, fold it upon itself and you need some tape. I have some tape over here. I'm going to just grab it, okay? So now that we've made it into a circle, I'm going to basically, this part is on the inside obviously, the folded part. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to be tucking it into itself. So as you can see, I'm tucking it into itself just like that, okay? And you want to make sure that they're overlapping. So I tucked it into itself. They're overlapping. Now I'm going to get a piece of tape. I um, should have probably done this before. Yeah, I should have probably got the tape ready before because it came apart. So we're going to try that again. Basically take it, tuck it into itself, okay? Get it nice and straight, just like that, nice and straight. And once it's nice and straight and tucked into itself, you want to get the piece of tape and tape it together. Now don't go crazy with it, but tape it enough so that it's not going to come out. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to give it a little bit more tape. And the better that you tape it and the more symmetrical that it is, the better that it will actually fly. So we're going to go ahead and tape it one more time. And as you can see, it's taped really well right now. Um, and the other one that I made flew really well, but it was a little bit more symmetrical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you with me um, into the main area of my basement over here. And I'm gonna, we're going to see if we can get this to fly. The other one flew really well, but I will give you a few quick tips for flying. So just come, bear with me. Come with me over here. I just have a nice open runway space right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. And what you want to do is you want to basically throw it but curve it at the same time so what I've done is I sort of take it like this and I sort of try and, and just throw it upwards but give it a little curve and as you can see that folded part is facing outwards that's how I make this work okay let's try it out 
Not too bad, but that's how you do it. And the more that you practice, the more symmetrical that it is, the further that it will fly. And if you give it some spin, it'll stay airborne for even longer, which is really, really cool. So that's basically it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make a paper airplane ring. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.